Welcome back to another episode of Turning Yu-Gi-Oh! Cards into Hearthstone. Uh, first up here we have Effect Veiler. This, uh, this minion is a neutral legendary. Um, the cost will be represented for uh, health and it's a 2-2. Um, you can discard this card from your hand uh, to negate a battle cry that your opponent plays. And then the cost will be the cost of the card that your opponent plays. Um, I'm sure that this uh, this neutral legendary here would be in most every deck and probably would be crazy if it was in the game of Hearthstone. Uh, moving on here to a new secret for Rogue. It's two mana, Dimensional Prison. It's uh, You'll banish the next minion your opponent attacks with. Uh, so you may have to play around with this, try to get their you know big minion or their key piece. And then of course they can play around with it with like a 1-1 one -one or something. Uh, next up here, we're going to move into Noble Knights, and we, uh, we assign that to the Warrior class. Here we have a 1 mana 1-2 one, Noble Knight Boars. It has Taunt, and has the Battle Cry of Add a Random Noble Arms to your hand from your deck. And we'll be looking at the Noble Arms here in a moment. Those will be the equip cards that you'll be equipping to the Noble Knights. Uh, here we have a 2 mana 2-3 two, Noble Knight Gwang. Uh, it has Taunt. And is the new keyword noble arms um, so when it's equipped uh, it will gain divine shield here we have a three mana three four noble knight madraw uh, when it's equipped with the uh, with the noble arms it will gain plus one plus one and once per turn when it gets equipped you get to discover a noble knight or arms card here's a four mana four five noble knight dry stamp uh, it has Taunt, and also the new keyword Noble Arms. Uh, when it equ gets equipped, um, it cannot be targeted, and uh, also gets to destroy a random enemy minion when it gets equipped with the new uh, Noble Arms. Here's the boss monster for them. It's a uh, legendary 7-7, seven seven seven, Archeress the King. It has Taunt. In the battle cry, I've equipped three random noble arms, and then you can remove one to destroy a minion. And then we'll move into taking a look at what the noble arms are. So these are going to be weapon cards. This is a one mana one one uh, noble arms Excaliburn, uh, and you're going to be equipping these weapons to the minions, not your hero. So the minion that's uh, equipped cannot be targeted by your opponent. And will also gain plus one plus one on its stats. This next one up here is the legendary. It's a two mana two two no arms of destiny. This minion cannot be targeted or destroyed by battle, and also gets the death rattle of equipped to another noble knight you control, so it can keep bouncing around. And then finally here we have a five mana five two noble arms Caliburn. It has life steal, and it has the death rattle equipped to another noble knight. So you can see that equipping these two noble knights will give them additional effects, and then the whole synergy of trying to bounce them around, and then you have the boss monster that can equip three random ones, and things like that. And that's going to do us here for today, looking at mostly the warrior class and introducing the noble knights into it um, if you like the video please give us subscribe it really help the channel out help us grow some more and if you have any suggestions list that in the comments on cards or uh, new games that you would like to see turn into hearthstone cards thank you so much and you have a good rest of your day